YouTube, what is up? It is the anonymous sneakerhead, the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game. Back with my third video of the day for you guys. This is the, I think, the only time I ever posted three videos in a day. I've definitely done two before, but just a lot of good news happened on the sneakers app this morning, and I wanted to talk about each one separately. So, you guys read the title, you saw the thumbnail, you know what it is. I kind of finessed you guys a little bit in the thumbnail with this right here this be true box this is the box from 2019 not this year now it would be cool if they use this box again for 2020 just because presentation is key to me um maybe they could use this box again maybe they could put in like a rainbow tissue paper on the box inside um that's that would be pretty cool but of course this is the sneaker that came in that box and that is the air max 90 in the be true colorway as you can see prominent with the the multi-layered the multi-color swoosh blacked out uh nike nike air on the what do I call this? Nike Air on the license plate. Nothing on the tongue. Really dope shoe. Pretty colorful shoe. These laces did not come with it. They came with the Tokyo Maze Air Max 1. And I did do a lace swap. But let's just get into the Nike sneakers app right now. I do want to record this so you guys can see it. Um, let me turn this on. All right. So my screen will be recording. So now if you guys go over to upcoming and you scroll, I'm already scrolled down here, but you can see it starts at the top. If you scroll all the way down to June 19th, you do get your first two Nike be true releases of the year on June 19th. The first one is this weird sandal. I don't know how to say that air de Schultz. De Schultz. Um, We've, we've seen the sandal release recently, um, but we're getting it in a beach colorway, which is nice for $90. I won't be going after them, not spending $90 on a sandal. I don't really wear sandals like that anyway. Um, but then the shoe that I'm really interested about, um, or not necessarily interested about, but do want to talk about is this Air Force One retailing for $120. And we are getting a full size run from a men's three and a half all the way up to a men's 18. Now, if you look at the sneaker right here, just at a quick glance, it looks like a regular Air Force One. But obviously, once you get around the swoosh, you do have different pattern air holes right there. My battery's low. <laughs> you do get different pattern air holes right there. And then you do get that. So similar to this Nike swoosh, how it's blocked out. You do get the blocked out Nike swoosh here, but it is a rainbow for the LGBTQ flag right there, which is pretty interesting. Then the outsole of the sneaker, pretty cool. Uh, midsole and outsole, as you can see, it's kind of a milky situation. It reminds me of these right here a little bit um, on the six denims, but it reminds me, you see that nice milky semi-translucent outsole. So that's kind of what this is looking like to me. Um, could be interesting to see in hand. You can see the two different insoles. They both read Be True on the inside. And once again, you get that Nike Air with the, instead of Nike, you do get the rainbow flag, which I think is a good touch. If they put that flag right here, where it's blacked out, maybe I could try to get a custom done and get the flag put on there. I, that would put these, these shoes are already over the top to me, but that would just put them way over the top. And then on the heel tab, we do get, let's zoom in, um, all the colors of the LGBT flag. Now, what I don't see on here that we do see in Nike, or in, in the 2019 pairs, but once again, that's from the insole. I don't know if you guys can see that, but in the insole, you do get Gilbert Baker, Gilbert Baker's autograph as well as you do, it's on the box somewhere, there it is, as well as you do on the box. Now, it would be nice if they do this box again. Um, I actually just had to dig this box out, put it back together for this video, um, and we also do get the Be True on the box. It's actually a really nice um, presentation. I might leave this box together and just put it on display somewhere in the room, um, but that is it for the video pretty much i just wanted to talk about that sneaker now as far as the aesthetics of that air force one if that is what they are coming out with um as far as the aesthetics for all of the sneakers for the be true collection i'm not too excited for now the be true collection has a lot of potential utilizing all of the colors of the rainbows as you can see to me this is the single best be true sneaker that they ever released in 2019 was the best year um they did the the 720 the be true 720 which is to me is the single best 720 colorway period out of any 720 that ever came out i do want to get my hands on a pair of those but this air force one looks too much like a regular air force one to me um will i like to get my hands on it for a video for you guys hopefully i don't know if i'll be buying a pair for myself but they are uh, they are a nice shoe with the air force one so those of you that like air force ones it is cool but you do also have to keep in mind today is what may 28th so there is a lot of time for them to release other sneakers and other parts that are going to be coming out later with the 2020 be true collection um but so far 2020 their collections are a little weird this year the space hippie one's cool at least it looks cool but air max day was trash this year it was dope last year and last year be true was dope and this year ah, 
I don't know, but we'll see what else, what other shoes we get. Last year we got a, uh, I think we did get a tail in last year. We may get a Cortez or a Blazer or something this year. But to me, this is the best Be True sneaker that ever, um, that they have made so far. But that is it for this video, man. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about the Be True collection as far as what we've seen so far. And what do you think about the ones last year? What's your favorite Be True sneaker? Um, I think a lot of you might say the 720s. Me personally, the 720s are dope, like I said, but they're the second best one to me from last year but once again man that is it for this video man make sure that y'all smash that like button really helps with the channel helps get the video shown so smash that like button tell your friends share the video hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already we are on the goal or on the road to 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2020 we're doing all right i know we could get there man let's hit 1,000 by the end of this year um but that is it for this one man also one more thing one more thing not one more thing i always say this though but just make sure you follow my instagram at anonymous sneakerhead you get a lot of information there first like i did post about these earlier in the morning so make sure that you do follow that instagram at anonymous sneakerhead to get all of the information and when my videos drop and all of that in case your notifications on here aren't working and that is it for this one man i am the anonymous sneakerhead the most mysterious sneaker youtuber in the game and as always it's all about the sneakers yeah,